Ooh, okay, this is really cool. That is a... That's actually a really scary matchup for me. Um, yeah, so we know what to do here. It's not fun, but we play super, super defensive and be very, very annoying. I already know my four Pokemon. Let's get it. Basically, anytime I see a Calyrex on the screen, I have a game plan. And it's never super reliable, but it's always... It's always got a chance. Calyrex is pretty obviously this team's worst matchup. Hey, and Jake from the Woods, thank you so much for the resub. Knights of 19, how you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just the ally I'm just the average Eternatus player. I'll sub for Fancy Moxie, thank you. Okay. So I'm thinking as far as Pokemon Legends Arceus content goes, I'm gonna try to upload one video a day as like a noon upload and then do my regular competitive content as like the regular 3 p.m. upload. There's the Mimikyu Amoongus. Uh, obviously not great. I don't like that they're on the field right now. Snowy Bug, thanks for the sub. And just like that, we've hit 50. Thank you so much. So I, it's, it's pretty obvious that this Amoongus is going to be a nuisance for us. However, we should be able to just annihilate it if we land this. So I'm going to go for the Flamethrower as well as the Presbus Blades. Rage Powder. That Amoongus has forfeited its life. This Amoongus is no longer an issue. I'm just going to put that out there. Goodbye. That's Specs Flamethrower in this. It's Focus Ash. Groudon, if you miss, you're going in the Forever Box. Okay. Uh, forever Box Groudon goes to. Goodbye, Groudon. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh. <coughs> Also, we're on a hype train. Thank you so much for the for the hype train, guys. Wow, that was the worst possible outcome there. I suppose I could have rock slided and it would have been technically better. So, my bad. Yeah. Stupid Marcos. I would say they're more concerned with the Eternatus right now. I'm going to go into my Incineroar here. And I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Protect. Just to be safe. I have Fake Out then. Night of 19, thanks for the bits, dude. And yes, we made it to the hype train. And we hit 50 subs. Thank you all. Now I can eat. I haven't eaten since I started shooting. I'm kidding. I actually had um had an apple just now. Spore? Alright, I called it right, which is pretty awesome. Will-O-Wisp? Okay, that's also pretty poggers. I very obviously don't want to take a... Um, I don't want to take a Will-O-Wisp on my Groudon. I should be able to pretty safely Flare Blitz this Amoongus. And I'd rather get burned on my Eternatus than anything. I don't want to get like put to sleep on my on my Bronzong or, or I don't want to get burned on my Bronzong is, is my main issue. If they if they do go into the Kyogre here, that's just like Snarl and Parting Shot waiting to happen, so I'm happy. Yeah, I can parting shot and then just click Dynamax Cannon on something right now. Actually, I'm going to Dynamax Cannon this Kyogre, and you guys are going to see this nasty damage. This absurd damage output. Alright, my prediction, by the end of this turn, this Kyogre will be at 30% health. That is, that is my guess. 30% maximum. Yeah, I'm Specs. Check this out. Boom. Bam. And that's that's it. I'm not going to bada bop boat pow until next turn. Okay, bada bop boat. <laughs> Don't protect. That would actually be really bad. Water's... It's really slow. That is really slow. 
Oh no, that that is very slow. That's like Iron Ball territory. Wow, that is that is slow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. That was ooh <laughs> scary. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I do have a plan here. Oh my, that was Iron Ball. Okay, here's my game plan. I'm gonna give you a weakness policy, bud. But only because I really, really don't want to lose my bronze on. Yeah, no, we would have been in a really good spot had that not been the case. I mean, I can go for, like, a Hypnosis, but then things get really iffy, and I'd rather go with something a little bit more reliable. Wow. <laughs> okay, there's my Dynamax, so we are, we are under Trick Room, so that doesn't confirm that they didn't Dynamax. Oh, he's huge! Wow, look at that guy. I I forgot I forgot how big he was. <laughs> I've never seen a Dynamax Bronzong, but uh, in this particular matchup, it, it happens like every single time I play versus Calyrex. Okay, I'm probably gonna give it a policy, and I can't intimidate it, so that's the end of that. There's only a few more turns of Trick Room, though. If this thing ends up, for some reason, not being weakness policy, which I guarantee you it is, um, we should be able to take this turn, I think. Okay, no, there it is. All right, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I thought. Scald. Ow. Okay, Bronzong got burned. That's not good. Max Quake. Yo. Do we tank? Do we tank? That's only a plus one Max Quake. Do we tank? Uh, Groudon does... Why do I feel like that was a crit? Yeah, I was going to say, we should have taken that. Okay, um... Don't panic yet. Trick Room might be over. <laughs> Trick Room might be over. It probably isn't, though. Also, we got Hype Train emotes. This game is not going well. <laughs> the Iron Ball Kyogre into the into the Max Quake crit uh, was, was pretty bad. Yes! 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 <laughs> Behold, his undoing. Okay. This is going to be very, 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 very close. Dynamax Cannon is technically stronger than Shadow Ball. If we get Ice Beamed, we lose our Eternatus. That is all. If I can keep Eternatus at the end of this turn, this was a good turn. Proxy just gonna be lurking for a bit. Hey, I appreciate you. Anything to help me get the partnership. I think this is a roll to KO. I know Flamethrower when not Dynamaxed always KOs in the sun, but this is definitely a roll. Okay, not even close. <laughs> I forgot they have a Max Quake. <laughs> ah. Yeah, had I kept my Grot on that turn, I think I would have been in a really, really good spot. Another crit. Dude, I know that one didn't matter, but they're critting a lot. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's got to focus energy up. So what kind of sucks about this is body press is also super weak. It 
and our leftovers are effectively gone. I'm going to max steel spike this Calyrex again. Um, if they have Knuckle, it's going to hurt. If they have anything, it hurts. It's, it's a Calyrex. Honestly, I'm more concerned about this Kyogre at this point, but I think the Kyogre is at range of plus three body press. Uh, and it is slower than me, I think. So once Trick Room's gone, uh, or Trick Room's gone right now, so I'm faster. So if they don't get to set up Trick Room for the rest of the game, I should be able to win this. Okay. Also, I'm actually slower. So my play here is to set up Trick Room, funny enough. I believe. Is that worth it? Is it worth setting up Trick Room or do I just end up winning regardless? Because if I set up Trick Room here, it depends what's in the back. I think I don't set up Trick Room. Because there's an Amoongus. Alright, let's just body press this Kyogre and hope it chaos. Glacial Lance is at plus two, so this is basically as though I was, you know, I, I never intimidated it. Or I never got these defense boosts, and that was another crit, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. That was just normal, because Calyrex is absurd. Okay, good game. Yeah, not not my best not my best game there. The uh, the Iron Ball Kyogre definitely caught me off guard, and uh, the crit from the Max Quake 100% mattered. All right, that's fine. Every time I do a ladder tour, I lose my first game, and then I go crazy, and then I go crazy. Not crazy in the sense that I'm gonna start winning, but crazy in the sense that I'm losing my patience. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I can't be late picking up my buddy. My buddy Kudi Loco, underused Apple. That is an adorable name. Ooh, okay. Uh, Talonflame is actually terrifying. Like I, I don't know what I do versus T Flame, except win. Bam, 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 boom, Shazam. Got it. Okay. Good game, dude. Vlogner, thank you so much. Good game. I was talking about the the new uh, Little Caesars Bat Calzone. How how is it said? I keep saying Batman Baking Calzone, but I don't think that's it. Batman Calzone. It's just the Batman Calzone. I've said it enough times in the stream for it to be sponsored at this point. Uh, if I got a Little Caesars sponsorship, I might unironically turn it down. Not because Little Caesars is bad, but because they release so many abominations. <laughs> Grimmsnarl Thunderous. Poggers. You guys want to see a Thunderous just drop? Just absolutely get rocked? Obviously, this isn't going to work out if the Thunderous is Prankster. Uh, but the Thunderous isn't going to like the outcome of this turn if it isn't. Little Caesars by my house got shut down because people at my school were giving out free pizzas on their shifts. Look at that. Little Caesars can't even handle some teenage employees. Alright, don't set up a light screen. Set up a reflect because it's a bad decision. Please set up a reflect. Please make the bad decision of setting up a reflect. Please. Or, or, like, fake out my Thunderous. Anything that isn't... Anything that isn't just, like, you know... Stopping the special attack damage output. Because this is a one-shot on non-assault best Thunderous. That is literally the calc I specified this for. Ah, okay. Well, now it's, like, a two-shot, so... I still get you next turn. Stupid. I'm kidding. Alright. Uh, I should eat this, because it's a Thunderous. And I'm going to turn to this. It's going to do like 60, I think. Okay, no, more like 70. Like 80, actually. Hold on. Max Airstream? I could have doubled into it, but I'd rather just get the speed. Because I get two KOs this turn. Go ahead and Airstream me. See what happens. 
Max Airstream, okay. Eat it up. Literally, like, I, I, I think that's a roll to be less than half. Um, Thunder Wave could be kind of annoying here, but I think I'd rather just risk it, because then they can't set up a Reflect, and that's even worse for them, kind of. Yeah, if they, if they go for the Reflect here, they still lose both their Pokemon. If they go for the Thunder Wave, they still lose the Grim Snarl. They could also miss a Thunder Wave. Withdrawing the Thunderous. Okay, is it going to be Zacian? Was there a Zacian? I wasn't paying attention. I forgot. Zacian. Okay, that's fine. And the Reflect. Okay. So how bad is this for me? No, honestly, not that bad. Because I still get rid of you. And I also still have my Incineroar. Okay, there's Kyogre. Um, give me one reason not to double into this thing. No, really, like, like, give me one. Because I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. And it's going to be violent. I don't even have to airstream anymore. Okay, uh, they've given up the Thunderous. And the the max what was it the Dynamax cannon should also go first, so I'm gonna max lightning the Satian. Nice. All right, that's that's like halfway decent damage. I still have an Intimidator. Uh, you know, obviously I don't want to switch that in on a Kyogre, but be fine. So Behemoth Blade. Goodbye, Eternatus. Something to note, uh, I have Fake Out Pressure. That's just like, you know, really nice. So I'm going to go Incinera here. Zacian at minus one is actually really, really nice. I think I always just double the Kyogre. They might be Scarf, which is a good reason to do this. Because then they just don't take this hit very well. Yeah, I think this is always the correct play. Because they can't one-shot me with, uh, with Zacian. Okay, yeah, that, that kind of confirms Scarf, I think. Let's see if it goes before the Zacian. Because it's going to survive, obviously. And Scarf. Nice. So I should survive this turn, I think. Yes. Alright. And I'm faster than the Kyogre, so that's a guaranteed KO. Uh, critical hit. Okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do this. Uh, this is my play now. I'm going to Parting Shot you. Kyogre cannot protect, so I'm going to Wild Charge it. And I'm going to get in my Groudon. Nice. Alright, and I'm going to lose my Thundee this turn as they actually go for the Incineroar, funny enough. Let's go ahead and Parting Shot out. And I'll get in my Groudon. 
And that should be game. Uh, they don't really have a way of beating me now. I don't even think Crit Behemoth Blade KOs. It might. I mean, obviously, it, you know, it can. Um, but I'm just going to hope it doesn't. P-Blades, uh, Wild Charge. Alright, don't crit me. Alright. And... Oh, he did crit me. Wow. Well, <laughs> glad we intimidated it. Nice. Yeah, because the intimidate if it crits you at plus one, it still gets the plus one modifier, but if it crits you at minus one, it doesn't. At least I think that's how it works. So, yeah.